Welcome back to Kitchen Cutters. Thank you so much for stopping in today. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two bob haircuts. One, a shattered bob, uh, graduating angle, funky color on this hair, and I wanna make the haircut work with the color a little bit. Another is a friend of mine who's got natural gray coming in. She does not wanna do any color. We're gonna show you these two cuts. We'll be right back with Kitchen Cutters. Thank you for coming back to Kitchen Cutters. Here's my friend Mary. Mary, say hi to everyone. Kitchen Cutter Hello. fan club here. Thank you. Um, just want to talk about the bobs we're doing right now. We just got done doing a shattered bob. Mary, we're going to get her into a almost a box bob, okay? But we are going to leave a longer fringe bang so that it graduates back through into the weight of the base. Okay, so what I'm going to do is caper. I'm going to wet her down a little bit, and then we're going to get ready to cut. We'll be right back. Kitchen cutters, thank you very much. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to slide you that way. Perfect. And we are going to just comb the hair back right from the top of the crown, just a section straight down. Separate the hair. Same thing on this side. Nice clean line. Section it out of the way. Okay, so underneath you can see where her baseline is. That's where we want to take the hair. So we will be removing that length. Okay, now that we've done that, we have our baseline. So where we want to go from there is we want to take our next section of hair from the clips of the clip, another section about mid ear, comb it down, take the rest of the hair up out of the way, and clip. This way you see your nice clean line, you know which what you're working with. Comb down, grab the grab the hair, slide the hair down the comb, move the comb and cut right on that line. You need to be able to see the line every time from the last cut. Now we can remove that little piece we just got out of the way to soften it up a little more. You can see the line underneath very easily. We comb down, push the comb with your fingers, and cut right on that line. You can see that we can see the baseline underneath. It's going to be easy to work with. Same thing on this side. Remember, if the hair feels like it's drying out a little bit, mist it. Okay, so we basically gotten to the point where I can comb it all back and we can see the baseline. So we can put down the clips and work that last cut. You can see the line very nicely. And we just follow the line that we've been cutting, combing straight down to it. Where we want to go is we don't want to angle it down. We want to keep it more even um, and so I can graduate it into this. So we will tilt your head over just a little bit. We're going to make a section. Now, unlike Carrie, Carrie, we dragged it down and we had a point here. This hair, I want to continue this line right straight across instead of angling it down. That works out much better. Because if you can see, it's pretty hard to come out and down. Okay, so like I said, here's the trick coming behind it. Then it's easier to work the front of it and then down. And again, we'll put the head straight up and we just want to make sure that the hair is looking even from our last cuts. Very good. And I think we'll make one more and we'll overlap it again on this side so that 
we have more, it's not the center part, it's just in case anything ever falls in either direction, we won't have that strand hanging over. We just cut off six inches of length, and already, look at, look at how it has just picked her up. This hair was just dragging down, okay? So now, we're gonna graduate a little fringe into this, and graduate these sides a little bit, so that we have softness, so it flows back into the hair. What we wanna do is we wanna remove that. So I'm going to take that section, comb it toward the chin. Now you can see that softness. You can see in the corner now that I just took off. We're going to take that off again, right to it. Now watch this. You can see how it starts softening as we comb it down. Not that French, but we're going to take this top of the temple. We're going to see that edge right there. We're going to take that hair off, just that corner. So look at this. There you go. It starts graduating. And you can see right there again, right on that same section, and just trim that corner off. Look at that. We're going to comb down, and you can see exactly where that corner ended up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start right on that corner, and we're just going to angle it toward this corner toward the base length of that so the hair will slightly be graduated at an angle so the line is slightly graduated And it actually comes right into that point. Look at how awesome that turned out. How easy that is to do. Well, I guess if you have a little practice under your belt, but you two at home can do this. Just take your time, small sections, very important. Maintaining that the hair is very damp all the time. Don't forget your clips, use them if you need. When the hair is really damp, you don't need as many clips to hold it back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blast her hair out, get some moisture out of here, um, use a round brush, tone it down a little bit, get rid of some of the dry little edges, but we'll see what happens right now, and we'll be right back. You can see it turns it a little more silky when you just get the moisture out and finish it with a round brush. Very nice, we have a little bit of a graduated line coming into this geometric edge in the back, so it's got a little base. We wanted to have a little base, but look at, it's got that nice flow from graduating that corner off. This is my friend, Carrie. Hello. Carrie, we're gonna, we're gonna, she's got kind of a ripped up shattered bob, but we're gonna just take it really tight in the back and loop, make it a little more dynamic. Straight section down, separate the hair. We're just gonna get in here and take this hair right out. Let me get a little more out of that. Okay, remember, comb the hair, squeeze behind the comb and slide it. Hold it down, cut right on the same line you just cut. Okay, and it's because of the hairline, it's gonna be off a little bit, which is good. That shows action in the back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just slightly overlap on every section longer, a little bit longer than the last cut. I'll show you what I mean by just taking a section, calming it down. You can see every line that we've cut prior to that. So what we want to do is just go a little, a quarter inch longer, just a quarter inch longer. Just that quarter inch longer on every section. Just overlapping every cut. You can just see that. Just like that. It does not have to be perfect. You want veil. You want to have a piece hanging over. It's okay. That is a hot look right now. Okay, you can see where we overlapped in there. 
we want to cut right on the overlap. This way it really drags the hair forward on that length. So we're just going to continue right off of that. Straight down, right to the point. Another section. So what I want to do is just kind of go through the base in the back, sectioning it out just the way we did when we first started cutting. You can see that there's weight here, okay? So what we're going to do is possibly just easier for you. Now you want to use your clip because the hair is drier. And you just want to clip out a heavy piece of that weight. Okay, so what we want to do is we just want to grab some hair. And you can see how that edge is, okay? And we just want to point cut into it. Not cutting across like this, making a straight line, just point cutting into it, softening the edges, taking some of that weight off of it. Okay, you can see the weight right here. You can see how it's falling, so you want to just grab that hair. And instead of cutting across and having that line, you want to point cut the weight out. And you can see the difference. You can see how easy that flows. Loosens it up nicely. Okay, so let's go back. What we started out with in the back, we're gonna spin a little bit. We got rid of at least an inch and a half of base. Bringing it out, sectioning it out, coming it straight down. Remember, pull the hair with your comb. Pull the hair with your comb. So as we comb back again, we section this through. We had the front point, so what we did was we just blended it right into it. It didn't have to be perfect. It's a shattered edge. We took another section, combed it down, took another section, overlapped it just that little bit. Okay, and now you have that softer edge. And like I said, we, cut, we made this haircut cut into the color to fit the rest of this color. And it works well. Carrie, thank you very Yay, much. thank you. And it's just fun. Rock and roll. See you again on Kitchen Cutters.